dear all in this session i am going to discuss the answer for few important questions from module 5 there are two major segments in module 5 one is sea wave energy another one is ocean thermal energy conversion scheme that is called otec so i have already discussed what are the, all the important questions from uh, sea wave energy as well as otec uh, based on the questions which are repeated in the year of march 22nd to 2018 uh, then 2019, both 2017 and 15 scheme, fine. So uh, based on that, uh, let me uh, continue the discussion of the particular answers so that you will be getting how to write the answers in the examination. So initially, uh, we are learning about wave energy. Here you can see the diagrams and all. Then uh, first of all, you need to understand what do you mean by wave, C wave, okay? The importance of C wave. Uh, so you can observe first, uh, try to pause the video and try to go through once so that you will come to know uh, the importance. Sometimes they may ask about like what are the parameters of wave energy, like a crust, trough, wave height, amplitude, wave length, then wave propagation, velocity, time period, frequency, okay, wave power, etc. But uh, I did not see in the previous year question papers, but there are chances like uh, explain the following terms like that they may ask similarly uh, wave energy in the world so install capacity uh, then what is availability in the uh, like uh, which country is actually producing the highest uh, wave energy what is the potential uh, then what are the important wave power plant all over the globe it is very less only but however these are the important plants in india what is the strategy or what is the um, a development in the area of wave energy okay then important wave power plant uh, then uh, these things you can remember then this is very very important for your university examination it may ask in the examination explain the various type of devices which will be used for harnessing energy from the wave very important it can ask in the examination it is asked in the form of extra, uh, like uh, uh, essay type and independently Okay, like uh, what do you mean by oscillating water column device? So, hope you are remembering that. The previous, uh, watch the previous session. Uh, otherwise, they may ask like, uh, what are the different devices that will be helpful for uh, extracting energy from the sea wave? Prepare the checklist, a plot, pendulum, oscillating, salter, step system, offshore, twist all cylinder, etc. You have to prepare a checklist. Hope you understood uh, what kind of questions that is going to ask. Please refer my previous video. So, I'm, this session, I'm discussing only the answers. So you can this explain individually what do you mean by boy devices, importance of boy devices, oscillating water column device, possible to draw the diagram. Okay, if you draw the diagram almost done, your answer become more uh, like a more flexible pendulum system. You'll be getting like, a, you, you know, the simple harmonic motion, the same principle is applied over the, then uh, tapper, ch tapper channel. So constructing the tapper channel, so what kind of turbine is employed for the type of channel? Salter step system, remember this, how the shape you have to remember. Uh, then offshore wave dragon system, you can see the structure, okay? Uh, similarly, Bristol cylinder type, how does it operate? Those things you have to remember. Archimedes wave thing, you know Archimedes principle, it works based on the same principle. So remember this, okay? Uh, so these are the things. Then advantages of wave power, what are the major advantages and disadvantages? Of course, you can remember. Uh, the next part is actually OTEC, Ocean Thermal Energy Conversion Scheme. Here the, we have to follow the mechanical cycle. You need to follow the important mechanical cycle. First of all, do understand what is OTEC. It can be written generally. If any questions are asked related to OTEC, you can give the brief working principle. Remember where are the OTEC power plants available in the world. Uh, principle also you have to remember. It based on the, the temperature gradient, operation based on the th thermal gradients. Okay, the principle, how does it operate, you have to remember. Fine. Uh, then this cycle is very important. That is called as Rankine cycle. How does it work? How does Rankine cycle operate here? So they will they will ask directly. Explain the Rankine cycle in OTEC system. Most important question. Here you have to remember importance of evaporator. How the water vapor forms. How turbine generator works. Then production of electricity. Then how the water that particular water vapor is getting recycled. Okay, those things you have to remember. So any diagram understand the stages stage number one evaporator number two turbine number three condenser again a pumping system so this is a like you can see the ranking cycle 
there are two type one is land based power plant floating floating power plant so what is the difference between land based power plant and a floating power plant that also you have to remember okay this is called a floating power plant okay land based means there is a one the generation will be taken place at the land area okay it is nearby seashore fine floating power plant it is connected with the ships and all so that the floating state fine uh, then uh, uh, you can you have to explain about uh, uh, basic ranking cycle how does it work already discussed this diagram can be drawn and explain in brief what are the different stages evaporation uh, then uh, turbine uh, condenser this uh, stage pumping evaporation con uh, then uh, generation uh, condenser condensation all the stages pumping evaporation uh, production of mechanical energy then electricity later condenser again the cycle will be repeated that you have to remember you can go through that i have written clearly you can go through that then how do you select the working fluid that also you have to remember uh, consider the chemical para chemical parameters you have to consider selection of working fluid the safety also most important similarly open cycle or a power plant what is what is the difference between open cycle and a closed cycle that you have to remember fine closed cycle we already discussed uh, okay, that is important here. Uh, then another one is what do you mean by Carnot cycle? Okay, Carnot cycle you can explain what is the different meaning of Carnot cycle. It is one of the thermodynamics, it's always based on the second law of thermodynamics. It includes mainly two isothermal and two adiabatic process. That also you have to remember. Mention what is Carnot efficiency, how to calculate it. Okay, then this PV diagram. Pressure versus volume diagram. PV diagram is important. Then applications of water you can explain. Now we need to draw the diagram. You can prepare the checklist. Okay. Uh, then applications you can prepare the checklist like this. Then pros and cons of water system. So these are the important uh, parameters uh, which you can expect uh, from the module 5. Okay. We have covered all the points uh, which are repeated in the last year questions. Okay, so kindly go through that. Necessary for if necessary, pause the video and try to understand it. Wish you all the best. Thank you.